Let's have a look at this. Now, the first thing you need to do before you go anywhere and start this question is actually to come back to this guy, right? And to say, well, I'm scrolling over, sorry. To say, which one of these is relevant? Okay, man, woman, look at the question. It's a woman, right? So I'm going to write this down right away. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Okay, so this is question six. I've written down the relevant formula. Now I want to see how the question requires me to use it. Okay, they give us a whole bunch of information. They tell us, it's a woman, we already know that. They've told us her mass, and it says she wants to keep her blood alcohol content below 0.05. Why is that? Because she wants to stay under the legal limit. Okay, how many drinks can she consume in three hours? So I want you to have a look. Out of all of these things you've written down, which of them do you have numbers that you can substitute for? H. Which of them? The M and the H. Okay, M. M. I know what her mass is. Uh, I also know what H is, right? That's the three hours. I know those. What else do I know? Um, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, you're on track. We want her blood alcohol content to be 0.05 or less, right? Does that make sense? So I'm just going to put in 0.05, and I want you to remember the part that's or less, okay, because we're going to solve this for a second. Now have a look at that. One, two, three things that I'm going to substitute in for a minute. Think back to A and 1. Substitution, this is just an algebra question. There's one letter, one pronumeral left. What is it? Why is it left over? Because, yeah, I don't know what it is. So that's why I'm going to solve for that. Okay, you ready? Let's do the substitution. Left-hand side, I've got 0 0.05. I've got 10, and I have to write N because I don't know what it is. Take away. All right, what have I got here? 7.5 times 3. Divided by, what's on the denominator? Um, five five. Times 56, yeah? Okay. Whole bunch of numbers here. What am I going to do with all this? It's a bit of a mess. Okay. What I really want is this 10n business. Okay. So I'm going to simplify this a little bit, and then I'm going to do some rearrangement. So can I get some people to tell me what 7.5 times 3 is? I think it's 22.5. Yep. Good. 22.5. Can someone tell me the denominator? 308. Exactly. Yes, it is exactly. Of course it is. Okay. 0.05. Of course. <laughs> Do you know why? Do you know why? I actually, you can, you can know it was, of course, it's as well. Because an even right? number and this is 0.5. Very good. See this, right? This is 2 times 28 or 2 times whatever. But look, as soon as you double that, it becomes 11. So it's a whole number. So that's why, anyhow. Uh, I'm trying to get to the end now, right? I want to get that end by itself. So what would you like me to do first? This is just an algebra question now. Good. I'll multiply through by 308. Um, 308 times 0.05 is... Someone got it? Sorry, say again? Yeah, 15.4. Okay. Now what do I do? I'm going to... I could divide or I could add, but I think adding will be better because then I can avoid like decimals and all that kind of thing as long as possible. So I'll add 22.5 to both sides, which gives me 37.9. And last step, now I'm ready to divide. So I'll put the N on the left-hand side as well. That gives me 3.79. Okay, now remember, right at the top when I had the formula and I was substituting numbers into it, I substituted in 0.05 on the left, but I asked you to remember something. What, have I, what did I ask you to remember? 0.05 or less, right? So that means 3.79 is the exact number of standard drinks that will get her exactly to 0.05, right? So how many drinks can she consume in three hours? It's going to be this or less, less. Like right? Drinks, yeah. So I'd say, I'd say therefore, um, she can drink or she can consume um, 3.79 um, standard drinks or less. Or you could say she can consume a maximum of 3.79 standard drinks. Okay. In 